Okay, let's get on with question five now of chapter six. All right, so question five says we've got three points. A is minus one, zero. B is a half root three over two. And C is a half minus root three over root three over two. And they want to know, they say that makes a triangle, A, B, and C. Show that the circle x squared plus y squared equals one passes through the vertices of this triangle. Okay, so if we take x squared, what was it? x squared plus y squared equals one, then we've got to square this one so we can do um, minus one squared plus zero squared, and that would equal one, which shows it. For this one, for the x's, we get a half squared plus root three over two squared. So that gives us a quarter, and this gives us three over four, and a quarter plus three over four is one, so that's correct. And for this one, we get a half squared plus minus root three over two. So again, we get a quarter plus three over four, which gives us one as well. So there we go. Uh, show that triangle ABC is equilateral. Okay. Let's have a little look and make a decision here about what we want to do. Um, so, minus one, zero. Let's just have a look at where they've got this. Okay, although if they all go around a circle that has one, okay, don't know that. Um, minus one, zero is out here for A. B is a half root three over two, root three over two, this is a half, okay, that's B, the C is down here, a half minus root three over two, okay. So a uh, triangle is looking something like that. Okay, so how long is this? Length of BC, okay, so the length of BC is got nothing for the x's, but we go from root 3, 2 to minus root 3, 2, okay, so we've got root 3 over 2 times 2, which is equal to root 3. Okay, so hopefully the length of all of these things are root 3. Okay, so AB then, uh, so that was the length of BC. Uh, the length of AB, AB length, is going to be the square root of the difference between minus 1 and a half is three over two, one and a half squared plus from zero to root root three over two squared. That gives us nine over four plus three over four, which is 12 over four. which is root 3 again. And then the length of AC, AC length is equal to, again, 
it's from zero or sorry minus one to the half that's one and a half so that's three over two squared and it's uh, going down it doesn't matter whether it's a minus root three over two to the one it squares and that still gives me the square root of nine over four plus three quarters which is still equal to root three so all three lengths are root three showing its equal answer question six question six a circle with an equation which looks something like x minus k squared plus y minus 3k squared equals 13 and it passes 3 0 okay find two possible values of k okay write down that k is greater than 0 all right so pass find the possible values now so if we have if we square that out i think if we square that out and we get x squared minus 2kx plus k plus y squared minus 6ky minus no plus 9k squared equals 13 which is lovely okay um we've got a value for x and y okay x is 3 y is 0 okay we call it passes through those points so um x is 3 so we can do 3 squared minus 2k times 3 plus k plus 0 squared minus 6k times 0 plus 9 0 squared equals 13 tidy this all up we get 9 minus 6k plus k 0 0 0 equals 13 now that's k just there should actually be plus k squared that almost got lost in the wash okay so k squared minus 6k bring the 13 across minus 4 equals 0 we've got a quadratic we're trying to find values of k that's brilliant let's figure out what that solves to then so putting it straight into a calculator because we don't have to work it out as a quadratic okay uh, polynomial two degrees and we've got one minus six and minus four okay so we've got three plus root 13 is equal to k and we also have three minus root 13 is equal to k which gives us our two values of k no it's not that should have been 9k squared where did my 9k squared get dropped um k squared so that would have given me 9k squared that would have been a 10k squared and a 10k squared which means that this solution isn't correct meaning that we should have had a 10 in there minus 6 and minus 4 so we end up out of that that looks a bit nicer um k is equal to 1 and k is equal to minus two fifths okay 
and now going into part B of this, okay, they want to show, given that k is greater than zero, which means it's the one, write down the equation of the circle. So we have x minus one squared plus y three times one minus three squared equals 13. Okay, done. Now on with question seven. Show that the line 3x minus y minus 9 equals 0 does not intersect the circle. So x squared plus 3x plus y squared plus 4y equals. 20. Okay, so it says that these do not intersect. Show that 42 minus 10, square root 10, is less than P, which is less than 42 plus. 10 root 10. Okay. Let's have a look. What are we going to get? So we should have no solution. For these okay but we should have a solution there all right so take the x squared plus px okay do we have a x and y yes i think we do so if we put y in here we can get y squared, we can get x squared. All right, let's do this and see what happens. So if we take the straight line equation and we rearrange it so it looks something like 3x minus 9 equals y, we can then substitute that into the circle equation like we are trying to solve it. So x squared plus px plus 3x minus 9 squared plus 4y, which is 3x minus 9, equals 20. See what that comes out as, x squared plus px plus 9x squared minus 27. Double the 52 minus 54 is in time. 54x plus 81 plus 12x minus 3 fourths, sorry, 9 fourths, are 36 equals 20. So we end up with a 10x squared plus a px. Um, minus 54, minus 54 plus 12, which is minus 42, 81 minus 36, minus 20 on the other side, which is 25. equals zero. So I've got 10x squared plus, take the x out and I'm going to have p 
minus 42 plus 25 equals 0. This should not have a solution. They tell us they do not cross. Okay, and so a quadratic that has no solution in it has a d. Uh, what's it called? It's a a determinant of um, uh, should have not a determinant, a discriminant. A discriminant of b squared so we should have a b squared minus 4ac the partial quadratic of the equation and it should be less than zero if no solution so since b squared is p therefore p minus 42 squared minus 4 times a which is 10 times c which is 25 should be less than zero so we get p squared minus 84 p plus 42 squared 1764 minus 1000 should be less than zero so p squared minus 84 p plus 764 less than zero um, so if we put that in to solve the quadratic for p okay um, we get polynomial two degrees here we go uh, one for the p squared minus 84 for the b of that one and 764 764 for this one and we get one solution at p is we get one solution of is less than 42 plus 10 root 10 and the other one is less than 42 minus 10 root 10 okay if you wanted to put it through the um, quadratic equation that's what you would get with your two solutions okay done um, question, question seven. All right, finished.